Well, my work evolves. I would have to say my work comes about through, gosh, I guess following my muse in a way. So I, I draw a lot from just daily life. Things that are maybe tossed aside. And I find that it's like a scavenger hunt in a way, like it's kind of just leading me to the next thing and then it becomes this story that unfolds for me. What really inspires me about my work is this that scavenger hunt feel, that element of discovery. And that keeps me searching, it keeps me moving forward, and it allows me to discover new elements about how I operate in the world, how my work might operate in the world. The, the inspirational element is coming from within. And the great thing about the, doing the sawdust is that you you have a place for your work to go. Otherwise, it just piles up in the garage or you get a storage unit and that's a little deflating. So it's nice that you always have a spot for it to go and that it's gonna be seen and not, you know, you can have a discussion about it and if it doesn't sell, whatever, you, then you can put it in the garage, but you know that someone saw it <laughs> other than your mom. <laughs> and the challenges I find with um, being an artist, definitely the ups and downs of you know, keeping a steady, normal life <laughs> amongst not always knowing when your next check is coming in. Um, also, trying to figure out how to operate in a way that um, it's like smooth sailing. You're just trying to always catch that wave or always catch that wind, you know? And so you're, you're oscillating between financial stability, also holding true to your ideas and not just making work that I think would sell. I love being in the sawdust because it's everything and everyone and it's not just people who would go to a gallery or go to a museum. You're, you're hitting everybody and I love that you've got every kind of medium in there and every kind of personality in there and it's a real like everyone says, dysfunctional family. But at the same moment, you know, you get it's all do it yourself. And I love doing it myself. So you get to build your booth. Um, you get a little plot of land and it's like homesteading for the summer. <laughs> and you plant your flag and dig your holes to put your posts in. And you get to see it from the ground up. You get to take it, you do it all. And I like doing it all. I like talking to people about my work. I like building the booth. I like dealing with the framing. Um, I like being there every day. Would I recommend being an artist? I don't know. Uh, I think you are, you aren't. I think that you do it or you don't. <laughs> you know, and um, if, you, if it's in you to do it and you don't do it, it's going to come and bite you later in some form where you'll hit a really low unhappy point or I don't know, I just think that if you don't follow what you're supposed to do in life, whether it's art or being a lawyer or whatever it is, then you're being dishonest. And yeah, so then I would recommend doing art if that is what's inside you. Follow it, because if you ignore it, you're going against every grain of your being. My name is Caitlin Evans, and I'm a mixed media artist. <laughs>